Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Today, we're discussing an M series, circa 2008, Rolex Oyster Perpetual Datejust. This is the reference 116234, combination of stainless steel 904L and white gold bezel. The timepiece is 36 millimeters in diameter by 11.6 millimeters thick. Lug to lug, it measures 44.2 millimeters. If we include solid end links of the Super Jubilee bracelet, then it is still compact at 45.4 millimeters lug to lug with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Zoom out a little bit, throw this watch on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, and you can see it wears beautifully. I can recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 13 centimeters circumference. It is short across the wrist and wears lovely. Of course, when Winston Churchill had a pretty beefy forearm, and he was allegedly the first date just customer. So remember, it's the man that makes the watch, not the other way around. This is no lady's watch. It is traditional, it is beautifully sized, it is versatile, and 100 meters water resistant, automatic, and steel. This is both your dress watch and your sports watch, as well as your unisex option. In terms of thickness, it's low slung, and with a sloped bezel, slides easily underneath a dress cuff of any kind. The Super Jubilee, which arrived in 2005 on the date just, has always struck me as a great compromise between the solidity of a sports watch and the elegance of a dress watch. But because the end links and the center links are no longer hollow, it also has the solidity that you feel like you could wear this in an active lifestyle and not miss the oyster bracelet. It has very little play in it, but it still has these short cross-section links, so it is super supple, feeling more like silk than chainmail. A combination of small polished intermediates with staggered alignment, large outer links, satin shoulders and polished outer faces, removable links are fixed in place by screws, so you size the bracelet using a screwdriver, not a punch, and you can see that there's actually a nice set of gaps between the links, and this helps to vent better than the Oyster bracelet does. I call this a super jubilee. One reason is the all-solid links. The other reason is that we have this lift lock system with an internal beak and a hook, and you just can't pry this open. It is a disengagement locking system, so it's quite quite solid and secure. You don't really need an oyster clasp to feel like this is going to stay put. The timepiece, of course, is nicely made. Rolex stamps its cases. It has its own foundry. It makes its own alloys. So it makes its bracelets, its clasps, and its cases, and it does so from 904L stainless steel. It's no harder than standard 316. What it is is more resistant to corrosion. Now, we're talking extremes, acid and seawater, but one of the traits of this particular stainless steel is that over decades and decades, even if you never rinse it after bathing in the sea, it will never rust, whereas 316 will start to tarnish. The bezel itself is also Rolex alloy. They make their own white gold. It's it's a gray gold, as we would call it in the industry, which is a 18 karat white gold that never needs to be rhodium plated. It's just white all the way through. Screw down crown, twin lock, that little slash means it's a steel twin lock. Rolex crowns have distinctive markings. 100 meter water resistance with the screw down crown. The dial is black lacquer with applique white gold Rolex coronet and Arabic numerals. White gold hands as well with a facet down their center. All of that white gold is there to avoid oxidizing or tarnishing over time. Now, the movement inside is Rolex manufactured caliber 3135. Yep, they make their movements too. Hacking seconds is one of the features. Stop seconds, so you can set the watch against a reference time. And then there is a quick set date system. And as you can see, this watch features an extraordinary roulette date. Rolex speak for evens are black and odds are red. This is a wonderfully unusual Rolex on that basis alone. Caliber 3135, bi-directional automatic winding, 48-hour power reserve, stop seconds, quick set date, certified chronometer, five position adjustment. It beats way at eight beats per second, pivots on 31 joules, and it has a number of features that make it tough, starting with a full balance bridge and ending with a free sprung balance. Those two features allowing the watch to be very precisely regulated in the case of the free sprung balance and shock resistant in the case of both the free sprung architecture and the full balance bridge. And of course, it uses an overcoil hairspring made by hand that allows the watch to keep even time in every position. So on its side, dial down, dial up, crown up, crown down, crown left, crown right, the six positions, the watch will not gain or lose undue amounts of time thanks to that overcoil. Reach out to Team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.